Today we're going to be looking at getting a latitude and longitude of an address in Bash. This is based on uh, Dave Taylor's uh, article in this month's Linux journal. Every month Dave Taylor does an uh, article on Bash scripts. Usually very interesting and helpful stuff and this time we'll learn some things about getting latitude and longitude and I'm going to quickly go over some of the basic stuff that he showed because I found it very interesting. First off, Yahoo gives us a great API that allows us to put in an address and get some information, mainly what we're looking for, the latitude and longitude. The uh, address uh, starts off like this, api.maps.yahoo.com forward slash ajax forward slash geocode. And geocode is uh, what we're looking for here, it's GPS information basically. So after that we need to add in some variables. Now I haven't looked into what all these variables mean, mean, but the last one is what we're important. The first part, so we start variables off when it comes to uh, using a put method on uh, forms is a question mark. So we'll add a question mark here. That means everything after this is going to be uh, variables. And you can see I've already inputted this information, but let's, uh, let me put, go through it bit by bit here first variable is API ID. So I'm assuming this is just the application ID, which is one step. So API ID equals one step. And then we're going to add another variable. So we're going to go end. And the next variable is QT. And QT equals one. Don't know what that stands for, what that variable represents. But as far as we're concerned, it's just one. Next variable is ID and that equals M. Once again, not sure what that means. But then the last variable and is QS, which is going to be our address. So we're going to put in the address that we want. So we want QS to equal. And I'm just going to make up an address. I'm going to go 686 uh, and then plus. So spaces in this case are going to be plus because we want this all connected together. And I'll say fifth. Avenue North and I live in Naples Florida so we have all that put in and so at this point if we hit enter it's going to output some information for us so blah 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 the address is and then we have our latitude and our longitude here and that's great so how do we do this in bash well you can use many of the uh, uh, bash tools that I've shown you like uh, you could probably use wget or links but I'm gonna use curl because it seems to be more powerful than those other tools and uh, if you're not in Linux if you're using a Mac which I know some of my viewers do curl should be installed by default so what we're gonna do here is um, we can take the address that we just uh, put in and if we go curl and then in quotations we'll put that address and hit enter we get that same output and now we just need to strip away what we're not going to uh, need so we just want to get the latitude and longitude numbers um, so <clears throat> first thing we need to do is we're going to pipe this into our cut command and we're going to give it a delimiter of uh, of a quotation mark actually no of I'm sorry of a colon and if you've watched my previous tutorials basically that's saying take the output of this command and then find where all the colons are and cut them up cut that line up into different sections and we're going to do field five and six so this is field five here and this is field six here so let's do that. But you'll notice when I hit enter there, it's going to give us more output than we want because it's giving us, basically, it took no time to download, but if it took longer to download, this is like a little uh, percentage bar kind of us giving us information on the rate of download and stuff. The way to eliminate that is to use curl in silent mode. So with a dash lowercase s switch, we get just the output of this, but it's still more than we need. So the next little... Uh, 
section of information we're going to go through is we're going to use said. And what we're going to do is we're going to go said, and we're going to use substitute. So said, and then a single quote, and we're going to substitute. And basically, we're going to substitute. We want to find everything that is not a number. So 0 through 9 here, period, comma, or dash. And we're going to substitute that with nothing. So we're going to just remove all that. And we're going to say G for global. That means it's going to do it throughout the entire output, not just the first part it finds. And then close your single quote. So let's hit enter and see what we get. And what did we get? We got just our latitude and longitude and with a comma separated and a comma at the end. And that's great for now. Uh, I've put this into a script, which looks like this. I called it GPS underscore COD dot SH. It's just, I just did that for uh, GPS coordinates is what I'm kind of getting at there. I just didn't want to call it just GPS in case I have other GPS scripts. And this is what the code looks like. We start off, as we always do, with bin bash up here. I put the web address into um, a variable here. So we have this variable, which is the beginning of the address. And then we have a variable of the variables for the website. And then our curl output here. And of course, we would want to add in our cut command here, like so. So now that we've created that, we change mod plus X to make it executable, our GPS code, and now we can run it. And we get the longitude and latitude for that uh, address. So in the uh, near future, I'll do uh, more fun things with GPS, but right now, you can get the latitude and longitude of any address you want in Bash. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Check out uh, Linux Journal. This is the, uh, let's see, what month was this? It's going to be November 2009, Dave Taylor's article in Linux Journal. If you want to see more on this, also visit bashscripts.info for this script. Uh, it will be in the script section and this video and other videos. Thanks for watching.